Welcome back to the unboxing of L1011's new computer. For those of you who missed part one, let's recap quickly. And we're back to the present. While I was assembling this beautiful machine and able to use both hands, not having to hold a camera for you loyal viewers, I got to take a few notes of the design. First of all, this thing has an enormous number of USB inputs. There are two here. Interestingly, there's a second headphone and microphone input there, in addition to the ones in the back. There's two more USB inputs in there, if you can see them. Uh, let's, there are five in the back. One, two, three, four, five. You'll notice I've occupied two. This one is the wireless keyboard and mouse combo. And this one, interestingly enough, is the speakers. The speakers that come with the computer appear to be USB powered, which is a very nice feature. As you can see, my old 1994 vintage speakers unfortunately plug into this mess of a power bar, which is a fire hazard waiting to happen. So it's very nice to have fewer power cords. Secondly, installation was quite simple. All you need is power, some form of input, which I've used my own keyboard for and not the garbage that came with it, and video, which you'll notice is connected to my wonderful self-supplied Acer widescreen monitor. The DVI cable right here is, that's a little dark, but unfortunately you really have to jam it in there, so, because there's this large thing in the base there. And if you're curious, this VGA cable plugs into my Xbox, and before you ask, no, you cannot have my gamer tag. And with that out of the way, here comes the truly exciting part. Let's fire it up. You ready? Oh, I didn't realize you could see my ugly CRT back there. This does come equipped with Windows 7. I believe it is Ultimate Magic Home Supreme Ultimate Premium Home something. Because Lord knows the basic version can't clearly be called basic because that would be terrifying to the masses. So let's just go ahead and watch as this thing boots itself over. And welcome back. Literally only a few minutes later and we are already into the wonderful world of Windows 7. Just quite a welcome change from the days of Windows 95 setup that took hours. There's another one of my favorite features. Can you make that out? 1.32 terabytes free. Mm. Oh, and there's some useless shit up here. But enough of that. Let's see how it handles in action. So as a point of comparison, let's take a look at Bugbear's 2006 Destruction Racer Flat Out 2 as it looked on my old Inspiron laptop. It's the most modern game I had that I could still run well enough to play. Bear in mind that this is at the absolute minimum graphical settings and resolution, and as you can see, it still runs at a frame rate of choppy as all hell.
Now let's take a look at some other games, starting with the sequel, Flat Out Ultimate Carnage, as a comparison point. All of the following games are at the maximum possible graphic settings and at a 1600 resolution. To every action, there is always opposed an equal reaction. None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Like I'm gonna listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy. And we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. Amada. Butch, stop Here it. Go. Uh, Leave him alone. Oh, Where? a tough guy, huh? Please, stop fighting. Hit him fighting. tunnel snakes rule. Losers drool. Oh, yeah. Uh, this isn't solving again. anything. Ow. This uh. isn't solving anything. Hey, Susie, uh. what's new? Come on, that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking... Some final thoughts after having some time to play around with this machine. First of all, it shipped with an outdated version of the ATI display drivers. Very naughty. Secondly, for whatever reason, you can't plug the wireless output for the keyboard and mouse into the back because apparently that something back there interferes with it. Secondly, I misidentified the Blu-ray. There it is. It's got a very nice, clean uh, 
front to it right here. Uh, fascia is the uh, automotive term for it. I guess front face would be what you'd call it on a computer, so that's very nice. And lastly, most importantly, I take back anything polite I said about these speakers. They are, without a doubt, absolute garbage. They sound terrible. The best comparison I could make is to take your phone, put it on speakerphone, put it in a sink full of water, and then turn the volume up all the way, and that's what they sound like. Absolute junk. So aside from that, I am very happy with my new purchase, and hopefully this will lead to many more exciting and new videos. Goodbye.